Whether revert back and sell fuel at the cost of 100 naira per litre. Yes. I'm not interested in how they are going to do it. Whether they are going to remove subsidy, hold on. Whether, whether they are going to remove subsidy or not. Mr. President, with all due respect, you are the father of this great nation. And I'm proud of being a Nigerian. And I know you're also proud of being a Nigerian. Please, we are begging you, on behalf of millions of Nigerians, you are our father, you are our grandfather. Fix Nigeria for us. That is not too much to ask of. This, if the government, the good thing is that they have handled this thing as of today, the way it should be handled. Because if, if it degenerates into an anarchy, I don't know what the, the way the cyclone could go. Because you can stop a wild wind, but you cannot stop a cyclone. So everybody should come to the government. I mean, are we not the people that government should be looking onto? We are the people government should be looking onto, not their pockets, not them themselves. What are we doing with it? Giving them, giving the National Assembly 200, 200 million naira every time? What have they done? We cannot continue living like this. For how long? If the terrorists come out to attack, you will not see intelligent being gathered before they attack. After the attack, you will, you will be hearing intelligent gather. But once protesters come for a protest, they will mobilize all manner of and men to come and oppress us, to create intimidation so that everybody will be scared of coming out. But I want to use this opportunity to talk to Nigerians that all Nigerians should keep their fear. They should keep their fear and come out. Nobody is going to be killed. They cannot be that stupid to kill anybody. They can't kill anybody. They, they are Nigerians like us. The police, army, everybody, they go to the same market with us. They are suffering like us. And that is why we are telling you, come out. This is Rabiu. I want to express my, my own feeling. They don't bring some people. They give them 5,000 5, just to say no more protests in Nigeria. It's a lie. We are not here for anything. We are not here because we have, we can make noise. We are here because we are Nigeria, a border of collective ideas nation that through them, many nations in the world has been built. But yet in our home, we have been abused. Now, people have been shouting, oh, uh, subsidy. Subsidy is never and it can never, it has never been the problem of Nigeria. You see, what they do in this country is to play on our intelligence. And once you start basing on the things that is not real, they began to do other things. The, the, the presidency or the federal government wanted to dial down the, 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 the tension of the protest. That's why they began to terrorize at 40,000 Naira. So these, these, are, these are tricks. You know, these are tricks they want to use to make the youth stay back in the house. But we have known this. We have understood their tricks. So we are out here to protest. So uh, we on skilled laborers, we're not going to collect not less than 10,000 naira minimum. A laborer, not less than 7,000 at any level of governance or any level of job you are doing as from today. Since minimum wage have been increased, how these people are they not captured in government plan? How will they survive? How will they help us? The people that miss concrete and the rest, how are they going to survive in this country?